if you're spending your time with a mind in the gutter, you know, or doing stupid and selfish and idiotic, perverse, uh, cruel, and uh, you know whatnot stuff, um, you're probably not going to get enlightened. You might, you know, but it's rather going to be a long shot because your attention is, n you know, it's not on. It's it's going down some other road. You know what I'm saying? So you're more likely to get enlightened if you clean that up and you put your attention on what's true. I haven't heard any stories of anybody achieving any significant enlightenment without work and without, you know, deliberately setting out to do that. You know what I'm saying? I, I haven't heard that. I, maybe it could happen. Somebody could, like I say, fall down in the bathtub. <laughs> I don't know what you're See, and maybe you could be in this kind of perverse, evil world in which all of a sudden you recognize this is really stupid. What the fuck's going on? Boom, get like, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? Maybe that, you know, like that. And like, was a guy, Eckhart Tolle? And he was like really depressed, wasn't he depressed? And like, you know, really depressed and everything like that. Boom, boom, boom. And then something snapped for him. You know, okay. I wouldn't recommend depressed as a way to go. <laughs> but, you know, see, if you. I get he wanted out of that, I imagine, or something, or this, like this, the reality of it, you know, became ridiculous, uh, uh, or something. I didn't, I just heard a little later. I mean, even Ramana, who was one of the fastest, you know, turnovers, was, uh, was deliberately trying to grasp, you know, what was, what, what am I, who am I after I die, basically. See, what's going on after I die? He's been working on it. He put his tension on it, right? He wasn't playing with toy trucks or trying to get a date or, you know, whatever else he might be doing, you know? You know, I mean, you could try to get a date and maybe get lame, but the chances are really slim. Why? Well, because all your attention is trying to get a date and worrying about uh, being rejected and you, know, and, you know, being excited about being accepted if you are, you know, et cetera, right? I mean, it's all this stuff. You know, what, where's the, 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 you see, your attention is not going to go, your consciousness is not going to go to uh, what's true, more than likely. Nope, never heard of it. See, so I put my money on contemplation, because that seems to be the thing, you know, so one form or another. It doesn't have to be this, you know, <clears throat> you know. see, like what uh, Romano was doing, is I'd call contemplation, see? Very de deliberately setting out to grasp something. He's doing it lying down on the floor, or whatever, you know, working with death, but it's very deliberate. And, and again, this is not, people get, have enlightenments or enlightenment experiences. I've come to not want to say experiences because people then keep looking for experience. And then you also, you can have an enlightenment as if experience, you see, but then your attention is on the experience rather than the consciousness, you see. And uh, so in any case, they can do it. And it then, you know, sooner or later. And I've had, you know, many people have enlightenment experiences over the decades. And it, it didn't take long. And there's more to life than enlightenment. There's more to life than enlightenment. There's not more to death than enlightenment, but there's more to life than enlightenment. And things are going to be, you know, alive. You might be. Hi, I'm Brendan Lee, and I've been studying with Peter Rollison for 20 years. I really want you to know that no matter how many videos you watch or books you read, it pales in comparison to the power of the live workshops that we host here at the center or on Zoom. If you want to get serious and do work that makes a real difference, please check the links in the description to learn more. Thank you.